so glad you joined us. I want you to get ready to learn how to make the absolute best powdered milk you'll ever taste. And I'm going to do a taste test right now. Emmy's already made it, but you're going to learn how to make this at home. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's some good milk, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. Hey, Randy and I want to welcome you to our channel, and I want to welcome you to my kitchen, and y'all come on in. Let's get started. And Randy was right. This is the best way to make whole milk at home. By far, I absolutely love Publix brand milk. I don't know what manufacturer they use, but it is really, really good. And I've even spent that hundreds of dollars on that five gallon bucket from PrepareCo, no. First off, unless you're using and going through a lot of milk, then you don't get through the bucket before it starts tasting funky. So I don't buy big buckets of milk anymore. I buy it in packets. That way I use what I need and then I keep the rest. I don't have to waste it. I only buy as much as I need for a few months at a time and I'm good to go. And what you're gonna need is some filtered water. I really don't recommend tap water or like us out here, we have well water. I just prefer to get some water. You don't have to, if you have tap water, you can probably use it, but I prefer to just buy me a little water. So there you go. I use two cups of half and half and one packet of the powdered milk. You're gonna need a, a half gallon jar because you're gonna make a quart and a half of milk. And let's just get started, it's just that easy. And you do need a secret weapon. Voila, you need an emulsion blender that puts air into that milk and you cannot tell the difference. If you're used to using 2% milk, which just us personally, we don't like, but if you're used to using 2% milk, all you need is this and the milk and you are good. But if you're like us and you prefer whole milk, we need to add a little something to it because it does taste like 2%. All right, per instructions on the, on the milk, you need three and three fourths cups of water. So that's what we're gonna start with. <laughs> and you don't have to make a mess like me. I'm doing it again. All right, let's get down here where I can And I think that other one was three-fourths, so we're gonna go ahead and make this one a whole one. And now I have my three and three-fourths. And we're gonna take that milk. Pour that right in. Take this handy dandy emulsion blender and get that off of there. Okay, take that off. Put it in on the low setting. You don't need to, it doesn't necessarily have to be on high, just put it on the low setting. And just blend it. Until there's no lumps. You know, powdered milk always has lumps in it. If you use this emulsion blender, there won't be any lumps. You only need to do that for maybe, you know, like 45 seconds to a minute. You don't have to take a long, long time. And it will get just like that. No lumps, no bumps. Now Randy's gonna do a taste test of it at this point. And then he did the taste test at the beginning already for the milk, because we do use this all the time. He knows it's good milk. 
Right. That's all. That's all you need to do. <laughs> you don't need to give me a whole cup of that stuff. I'm gonna pour it back in the jar. No, you're not. Ew. Ew. That tastes like baby milk. Tastes like two percent. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Ew. Yuck. Yeah. No, I don't want to drink that. He just doesn't like anything but whole milk. Anyway, we're gonna do this. Put my two cups of half and half in here. And now you've took 2% and upgraded it to whole. And don't put the emulsion blender back in there because you, then you'll make it really thick and that's not what you want. You just want to mix that in. And now you have a quart and a half of whole milk that you can drink or use in any recipe. All right, now Randy can come taste the whole milk. This is the whole milk. Whole milk. And nothing but the milk. And nothing but the whole milk. You're sure? I'm positive. Now that's pretty darn good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right, is this cost effective? Not necessarily. It really isn't. They, they, back in the old days, it was. It was very economical to buy powdered milk and just keep it. Well, nowadays, they treat that stuff like gold. And like I said, this was $17, you know? So now it's not cost effective, but I have it. I keep it in my pantry and when I run out of milk, I'm not stressing. I have it. I can make it. If I'm just using it for cooking, I don't have to add the half and half. The only reason I put half and half in it is so Randy will drink it. You know, it's it's so, so easy. And I just keep it in a bucket, leave it there. You know, one of these days, you know, like not that long ago, you couldn't even get milk in a store. And you certainly even couldn't get powder milk because when you run out of that, they ran straight to the sh dry goods shelf, cleared this out, cleared out the evaporated milk. You couldn't find anything. Just go ahead, get you some, put it up. That's one less stress on your life. And it, and it really, really is good. And we will see you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe, share. Go down in the description and buy us a coffee. We would really, really appreciate it. Bye.